Good evening, everybody. This is Robert from RGL 518, welcoming you to Payoff Pitch Baseball, the 1985 season. Tonight's date, tonight's day, today's date is April 12, 1985. We are live from Three Rivers Stadium. Tonight's game, the St. Louis Cardinals face off against the Pittsburgh Pirates, as we're now just really in the very early stages of this season replay. And tonight, expecting another exciting game. The Cardinals are one and one, and the Pirates are one and one. So, to both five hundred after getting uh, getting the season underway. Tonight's pitchers will be Kurt Kepshire, or should say Kurt Kepshire versus Larry McWilliams. And you can see in the chat and in the and in the uh, comments, you'll see that I also posted the uh, score, the original score of the game. So you'll see the the team from now on. I'm always going to post the original score of the game. So uh, Pittsburgh, you can see, uh, actually won this game uh, on this date. They beat the Pir they beat the Cardinals 6-4 to four, uh, with 10 hits. Uh, the St. Louis is 8 hits and no, and no errors in each. So from now on, I will always post the actual score of this game. So you guys, so now you can maybe take a look and see how close we actually get. It'll be in the chat, and it'll always be underneath, of course, the stadium where this is being played. So this should be a good matchup. It's our first meeting, but it's our first National League game, as a matter of fact. So let's turn our let's turn our thoughts away from the ballots, and let's uh, turn our thoughts to baseball. What do you say? As Steeler fan, nineteen thirty three is first of the turnstiles here at Three Rivers Stadium. So for the next hour, at least, no ballots, only baseball. Starting pitcher for the nineteen eighty five Pittsburgh Pirates will be Larry McWilliams. He was 7-9 and nine with a 4-7-0 ERA, and he starts there. So let's get everything underway. It's a big, it's an interesting, it's a very nice night here at Three Rivers, and we're going to get underway. I will introduce the players as they come to the plate. Leading off for the St. Louis Cardinals will be second baseman Tom Herr. So let's get to some baseball. McWilliams will pitch. Here we go. And we're going to start off with a patient 93 and against the left. And, and Tom Herr, by the way, Luke Williams is a lefty. And Herr batted 283 with three homers against left-handed pitching. And a patient 93 is a ground ball to shortstop. That's going to be picked up by Tim Foley. He throws the first for out number one. We're going to try to keep it down a little bit. I think I sometimes get a little bit, I sometimes get a little bit too excited. And maybe I get a little too loud for you guys. So. I'll keep it down a little bit. This is just regular season baseball after all. It's not the playoffs. Here's third baseman Terry Pendleton. He batted 228 with two homers against lefts. McWilliams is pitched. That's a defense check. 85 should be all right. Error check to shortstop. The ball is hit to Foley. His ever rating is a five, which is the best rating you could have. He's going to make a nice play. Foley's got it. Throws to first for out number two. For out number two. Two ground outs to short, and that will bring up the center fielder, Willie McGee. He batted 348 with seven homers against lefties in 85. Pitch to Mc, for McWilliams. That is an in play 27, and that's going to be a base hit for McGee. He gets a single, and he will go to first. Two out base hit for McGee. And now they'll bring up the first baseman, Jack Clark. Clark batted 324 with nine homers against lefties. McGee, a 6B steal rating, but a 10 on the dice will not run. So McGee will stay at first, and Clark will bat. Pitch from McWilliams, that is an in-play 37, and Jack Clark's going to have himself a base hit. That is a single. McGee, with a run rating of eight, will automatically make third with two outs. Clark gets, to, gets on first base. And the Cardinals are in business now with runners at first and third and two outs. And that will bring up left fielder Lonnie Smith. He batted 265 with no homers against lefties in 85. The Cardinals, of course, won the National League East that year. And the Pittsburgh Pirates were dead last. They are, rated in, they are graded an F in the quick results. Runners at first and third. McWilliams in a little bit of a jam. Let's see what he does here. That is a patient. That's a patient 84, and that is going to be 
against the lefty, that is going to be a double for Lonnie Smith. On a double from Lonnie Smith, McGee will score from third, of course, easily. But Jack Clark's run rating is a five, so I actually have to draw. So that is a grounder down the line in right field, and all runners will score. So Clark will come home, and Smith will head to second base. And the Cardinals are jumping out to a 2-0 lead here on, an R on a two-RBI double by Smith. Smith will hold at second base. And now we will see the right fielder, Tito Landrum. Two, Larry McWilliams got two quick outs, and now it gives up two quick runs. Smith on its second, Landrum the batter. And that's going to be an in-play 16, and that's going to be a single by Landrum. That will be a base hit, and of course that will score Smith easily. With a run rating of nine, he will make the play. He will go. He will score from second easily. And the Cardinals have jumped out to a three nothing lead. And they're going to go talk to McWilliams real quick, try to calm him down as the Cardinals jumped out early. And now St. Louis will bring up the catcher Tom Nito. Nothing on Strat dice. Landrum will stay at first base. Now they calm McWilliams down, and here's the pitch. And that is a tough 79, and that's a fly ball center field. And Marvell Wynn will get to that one, and he makes the catch. Cardinals get three runs on four hits early in the top of the first. They lead 3-0. Starting pitcher for St. Louis in this game was Kurt Kepscher. He was 10 and 9 with a 4.75 ERA. Bottom of the first, here come the Pirates. Let's see what they can do. Center fielder Marvell Wynn will lead off and time out for one second. So Marvell Wynn come up to bat. Bottom of the first inning. Let's see what the Pirates got. Kepscher's pitch. That is a tough 59. Marvell Wynn is batted 181 with one homer against right-handed pitching, by the way. A tough 59, and that is a ground out. And that's going to be a ground ball hit to third base. And that is picked up by Pendleton. He'll throw to first for out number one. Here's the second baseman, Johnny Ray. Boy, some of these names bring back some memories. Johnny Ray batted 283, six homers against rights. Kepcher, tough, 62, and ground ball to third base again. Actually not, this time it's going to get picked up by, yep, by Pendleton again. He's got it. Throws to first for out number two. And now the third baseman for Pittsburgh, here's Bill Madlock. What a, what a player he was. I always felt I always felt he was um, I always felt he was a very you know one of the better players during that time. Kepcher will pitch to Madlock, and that is a patient thirty-eight, and that's going to be a double by Bill Madlock. That will go all the way as he smacks that one into right field, and Madlock will hold it second. He gets a two-out double. 
And now he has the first baseman, Jason Thompson. He batted 233 with nine homers against Wrights. Still two outs here in the bottom of the first, but now the Pirates trying to get something going. Captures pitch, and that's an in-play 05, and Jason Thompson's going to smack a double, and that'll bring home Maglock. Double by Thompson. Madlock will come in to score. Gets the Three Rivers crowd excited as Pittsburgh gets a run in. And we've got some early scoring going on here in the first inning. It's now 3-1. to one. Here is the right fielder, George Hendrick. With a runner on second base. And still two outs. Tim Pepper joins me here now at Three Rivers. Now there's a player not like Johnny Ray. Exactly. Thompson on it second. Here's the pitch to Hendrick. And that is a tough 60. And we're going to have a fly ball to right field. And Tito Landrum is going to make that catch. And the inning is over. Pirates do get one run on two hits. At the end of one, we already have some scoring. It's three to one. Top of the second coming up. Leading off for the Cardinals will be the Wizard of Oz, Ozzie Smith. Against lefties, he batted 298 with six homers in 85. Had a good season. Smith will bat. McWilliams will pitch. That is an in-play 9 and that's going to be a leadoff double for Ozzy Smith. It looks like the hits. It looks like the hits are going to be coming out today. And Smith is going to lead. Get right out to second base, and he'll stay there. Leadoff double for Smith. And that brings up the pitcher, Kurt Kepscher. And yes, uh, 1985 season, Joe Bryant did create pitching batting cards, pitcher batting cards for certain pitchers, and mostly the starters. So Kepscher actually has his own batting card. So Smith on its second with a four on there. I think we're going to see a sacrifice bunt. So the bunt's going to be called. And Kurt Kepscher's bunt rating is a C. So we're going to call a sacrifice, which means we just draw a card. And a C is going to be a good sacrifice, and that is to the and that is to three. So he lays down a good bunt. Lays down a good bunt. Because I got to find that chart real quick. And that was a three. Lays down a bunt to the first baseman, and the only play is to first. So Kepsher is going to be out, but that does move Smith to third. So it's an SH three sacrifice. One out, though. Top of the batting order for the Cardinals. Here is Tom Herr. Smith on at third. Let's see if the Pirates are going to call the inf the Pirates going to call the infield in or infield back. Uh, it's early. They're going to call the infield back. Try to get the run. It's early. McWilliams will pitch to Herr, and that is an in play 05, and that won't matter. And that is going to be a double for Tommy Herr. Herr will smack his own double. Smith will come in to score. And we got a 4 1 Cardinal lead. So there's the four runs on him. There's the four runs the Cardinals got. And Herr on at second base with one out. And here is Terry Pendleton. 
Pendleton grounds it out his last time up. McWilliams with the pitch. That's an end play 86. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. Easy pickup there by Foley. He'll throw to first to get the second out. Hers run rating is a seven. He will hold it second. And there are now two down. And now we'll see Willie McGee. McWilliams going up against McGee. Her still on at second. Two men out now. And that's a defense check. Oh, six. That's not going to be good. That's an error check to shortstop again. Foley's error rating is a five. A one to 24 is not going to cut it. That is going to be an error on Foley. And that is a one base error. First error on the Pirates. And runners move one base. So that is an E6. Bobbles the ball, and the batter now is Jack Clark. Still two outs here, top of the second. McWilliams checks and deals to Clark. And that's a ballpark check, 43. That's going to be in play. Through River Stadium, a definite pitcher's park at 85. In play for Clark. And in play 50 is going to be a ground ball right back to McWilliams. He's got it. Picks it up, throws to first. And he retires the side. Cardinals do get one run on two hits and an error. And they now lead 4-1 to one here as we go to the bottom of the second. The Cardinals originally lost this game 6-4, to four, and they got some quick runs early in this game off of McWilliams. Kurt Kepcher will come up to pitch. Here is Tony Pena. Pena is the catcher, and he batted 246 against Wrights. Let's get back to baseball here. Not doing a good job tonight. Kepcher's pitch. And that is a tough 36. And what we got here, that is a pop-up in the infield. That's going to be a pop-out to second base. Coming under it is her. And he's going to make the catch for out number one. I can already tell this season is definitely different from 94. Much more different types of results that we're getting from uh, the out from the out checks and from the other uh, sections of the pitcher. Here's the left fielder Doug Froble. He got the he got the call in this game. Captures pitch to Froble, and that's a tough sixty nine. And we're gonna and that is a ground ball to shortstop. Ozzie Smith will have no problem. Throws to first. Out number two. And now the shortstop, Tim Foley, who made that error early on. Foley did not have many at-bats for Pittsburgh. He was with them for only about half the season. But he did get the call to start the game to start the game today. We are using the as-played lineups. Kepsher's pitch. And that is a ballpark check, 36. That's in play. In play, 95 is a fly ball to left field. And Lonnie Smith's going to get there. And he puts it away for the final out. Three up and three down go the Bucks. At the end of two, Cardinals are leading four to one. Top of the third coming up. And speaking of Lonnie Smith, there he is. He had a double his last time up. Williams with the pitch. That's a tough 26. Struck him out. One down. So 
So I'm trying to calm down a little bit here with these games, getting a little too excited for my taste. Here's Tito Landrum. After all, this isn't playoff baseball. Playoff baseball, of course, maybe. Landrum got a single his last time up. McWilliams will deal with him. And that is a tough 82. And we're going and that is a fly ball center field. Ranging over is Mwin. And he will get the play for out number two. And another reason why I want to slow down my uh, broadcasting a little bit. The games go a little bit too long when I do it that way. Here's Tom Nito. Don't worry. I'm still having fun. Hope you guys are too. Nito uh, flew out his last time up. Two outs here. McWilliams with the pitch. That is an in-play 54. And ground ball to third base. Matlock's got it. He throws to first. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for McWilliams. That's the first one, two, three, he got. Bottom of the third coming up. Here comes Kepscher. Who leads off? Uh, I guess that's the pitcher. Leading off for the Pirates will be Larry McWilliams. He batted 125 in uh, 1985 for Pitt. Kepscher will pitch to his opposite number. And that is a patient 50, and we have a ground ball to third base. And P Pendleton ranges over, has it, throws to first, out number one. And that will bring up Marvell Wynn. He grounded out his first time up. And that is a patient 50. We have a... Ground ball to first. Clark's going to get this one. He'll take it himself for out number two. As he calls off Kepsher. And now Johnny Ray. As Tim Pepper says, not like Johnny Ray. Johnny Ray in 1985, he batted 283 against Wrights. Not a bad player, actually, I thought. Johnny Ray wasn't too bad. Here's the pitch from Kepsher, and that's a tough 92, a ground out to shortstop, easily picked up by the Wizard of Oz, and he will throw to Kansas, or in this case, the first base, and the side is retired. A 1-2-3 inning for Kurt Kepsher, and it's still 4-1 to Cardinals. We go to the top of the fourth inning. McWilliams back on the mound, and here is the Wizard of Oz. McWilliams ready to deal. And here as it comes. And that is an in-play 76 fly ball center field. Under it is Marvell Wynn. He puts it away for out number one. And now Kepsher, lefty, ag lefty against lefty. That's a tough 59. That's a swing, and that's a cold strike three on Kepcher. Cold strike three. And that is out number two. McWilliams averaged 3.7 strikeouts per nine. And that is his second strikeout of the game. And now Tommy Herr. Two men out. Top of the fourth. Cardinals leading the Pirates. Four to one. McWilliams with the pitch. That's an in-play 50. And popped it up. Popped up again in the infield. That's going to third base. Madlock gets under it. And he puts it away. And a one, two, three inning. For McWilliams. So after giving up four quick runs, it looks like McWilliams has settled down a bit. But it's still a 4-1 to one Cardinal lead. As Tribe Fan joins me here. And Donald Cummings joins me here. Donald Cummings. Well, welcome, sir. I don't, rem I don't remember ever meeting, having you come to one of my uh, channels. Welcome, sir. Welcome to Three Rivers Stadium for a game between the Cardinals and the Pirates in 1985.
We go to the bottom of the fourth. It will be Bill Madlock leading on for the Pirates. Or I should say leading off, right? He doubled his last time up. Capture with the pitch. That is a wheelhouse 84, and it's going to be a single for Madlock. That's a base hit. He hits that one in the center, and Madlock will hold it first. A leadoff hit for the Pirates. And Madlock is two for two. That will bring up Jason Thompson. A 3C steal rating. That is a 12. Kepcher's going to try to pick off Madlock. Or do I only do that when he gets when it doesn't get the jump? Let me see that. Hold on a minute. When the runner does not get a jump, he may be picked off during a jump attempt. No, he's not doing a jump attempt. He's got a three, so we can't. So I'm not going to have him try to steal. So no, I'll still use my original pickoff pickoff rule that I use when a when a runner tries to steal. So nothing going on, and Thompson will swing away. You're very welcome, Mr. Cummings. Kepsher will pitch. And that is a ballpark 53. That's an in play. In play for Jason Thompson. That is a nice little double that Thompson just smacked off of Kirk Kepcher. That's a ball. That's a drive down the line to left field. The runners are going to advance two bases automatically. Madlock, though, has a choice. His run rating is a six. That is a three. If he he's going to try to get to home. So we got to coach us. We got a throw coming up. We got a throw coming up. Let's see what we got here. So his rating, his run rating is a six, and that ball was hit. Since it's a left, that was left. That was, he's a lefty, so that ball was hit to. That ball was hit to right field. That's not opposite field. So that ball's hit to right. The right fielder is Landrum. His arm rating is a five. So here comes. So we draw a card. We, we draw a card. So a five and under, a five and under, he is, Madlock is safe. A six, it's a play at the plate. A seven, he's out. It's an eight, Madlock thrown out at the plate. What a throw by Tito Landrum from, from right field as he nails him at the plate. But Jason Thompson does go to third on the throw. There is one out. But Madlock is cut down. But that is a double for Thompson. That's his second double of the game. And he will be at third base. And the batter is George Hendrick. Hendrick flew out his last time up. I usually like losing these extra numbers to continue the play, I usually do not like rolling the dice twice on the same play. That's why I use these cards. Besides the everything else. Kepsher's pitch. That is a patient 53, and it's a base hit for George Hendrick. It's a single. That will score Thompson. And the Pirates cut the lead now to 4-2. to two. That's Hendrick. Gets the first base with one out. Gets the Three Rivers Stadium crowd excited. Here's Tony Pena. Hendrick on it first. Steel rating of one, nothing happening. So Kepsher will pitch to him. They're going to go talk to Kurt for a moment. Try to settle him down a bit. Now we'll get back behind. Now um, Nito will get back behind the plate. Pitch to Kep from Kepsher. Tough. 99. Fly ball left field. And Lonnie Smith will get to that one. And that is out number two. And now Doug Frobel will come up to bat. Hendrick still on it first. Pirates had something going on, but a big but big a big throw out at the plate. Kepsher with the pitch. Tough 48, and we have a ground ball to third. And under it, up with it is Pendleton. He has it, and he will throw to first to get Froebel, and the inning is over. One run for the Pirates on three hits. 
At the end of four, we got a four to two ball game. For a minute there, I thought we were going to have another crazy game like we had last night between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. For those of you who have not checked out any of my games, that was a wacky one. So check out that on the channel, the last night's game between the Yankees and Red Sox. But, of course, anytime those two teams get together, it's always a, uh, br a, a barnyard brawl. Top of the fifth, here's McWilliams. Terry Pendleton leads off for St. Louis. He's 0 for 2. In play, 48. Uh, line drive right to second base. One out. Pendleton hit that hard right at Johnny Ray, and he snared it. One down. Next up for the Cardinals will be Willie McGee. He is one for one. He reached on an error and got a base hit early in the game. McWilliams will pitch. And that is an in-play 08. And we got a double for Willie McGee, a second hit of the game. McGee smacks that one into center field. McGee will hold it, will hold at second base. I wish the cards weren't that so slippery sometimes. He will hold at second. Here's Jack Clark. Clark is one for two. A four. Willie McGee, that is under McGee's steal rating, but it has to be doubles for a chance for, for a chance for him to steal third, and it was not. So McGee will hold at second. Clark with the pitch. Tough. 75. Ground ball. To, that's a ground ball to second base. Easy play by Ray. He will throw to first for out number two. McGee with a run rating of eight has no problem reaching third. Two down. And now can Lonnie Smith bring home McGee? If Williams would like to keep this, he just got the Pirates got a big run. The last thing you like to do is go ahead and give up, give the run back the next half inning. Lonnie Smith is one for two. In play, 32. And it's not going to matter. That's going to be a single by Smith. William McGee trots home to score easily. And the Cardinals get that run back. It's now 5-2 to two on a single by Smith. Stadium groans. Ugh. Larry McWilliams very close. One more run he gives up. He will be fatigued. And the next batter for St. Louis is Tito Landrum. Smith on it first. Two outs, top of the fifth. McWilliams with the pitch. And that's a patient 60. And base hit Tito Landrum. Single. Smith's run rating is a nine. He will make third easily on that play. Another base hit for the Cardinals. They are getting the hits. They're getting the runs so far. And here's Tom Nito. St. Louis has already passed. The amount of runs they had in the game, they had four runs. They now have five. Runners in the corners with two out. McWilliams would like to finish this inning out. He is due to bat second. Nito the batter. Nito is 0 for 2. McWilliams checks and deals. Tough. 53. And that is a ground ball to third base. And Madlock will have it. And the throw is gonna the throw's gonna go to first to get Nito, and that will retire the side. Pirates do get a run on three hits halfway through this ball game. It is five to two Redbirds. Go ahead and we Flip the deck. Like to remind you, our next exciting game will be tomorrow. 
we go from April 12th to April 14th. And for all you, for any, there's, if there's any Reds fans out there, they will be playing my Mets. Tomorrow we stay, tomorrow's game will be the Cincinnati Reds versus the New York Mets at Shea Stadium. It will be Jay Tibbs versus Dr. K. That is the game I got scheduled for tomorrow. And, of course, we have the 10-minute ticker coming up at the seventh-inning stretch. So stay tuned as we, as we just get this 1985 season underway. Kurt Kepscher will come out to pitch, and Tim Foley will lead it off for the Bucks. As Cummings says, I will be here. <laughs> Kepscher's pitch. And that is a tough 18. And, well, that's a base hit. Foley got a single. Foley gets a base hit. He will go to first. Larry McWilliams due to bat. They're going to take him out, a pinch hitter. He's already given up five runs, so that will be it for McWilliams. And we'll see a pinch hitter against Kepsher. Let's see who I want to bring in here. Probably want to let, probably want... Best one against righty, so give me a moment here. Let's see what I want to bring in. 280, 316. And coming on to pinch it for the Pirates will be Joe Orsalak. Orsalak batted 316 against right-handers. Also had 332 at bat, so I can use him. A big chance for the Pirates to maybe get some runs. Nobody out here, bottom of the fifth. And here's Orsalak, as the Pirates are going to the bullpen early. Kepcher's pitch. Tough. 0-3. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Orsalak cannot do anything with it. Nice big strikeout by Kepshire. One man down, and now Marvell Wynn will come up for the Bucks. Foley still on it first. Wynn only batted 181 against Wrights, but he hasn't batted three times yet, which is something I kind of like to do before I replace a position player. Pitchers are one thing in the National League. Position players in the National League and American League are others. Foley on it first. Win is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch from Kepscher. That's a defense check 95. That shouldn't be a problem. Error check to the pitcher. Kepcher's error rating is a 1. It's a 1 to 63 to make an error, but that's a 95. Kepcher's going to have it. Let's see what he has. And that is going to be a ground ball fielder's choice. So he turns around, throws Foley out at second. Win does make it to first. Two down. And now Johnny Ray. Ray is 0 for 2. Kepcher not pitching too bad here. A 5 to 2 Cardinal lead here. Win on it first. And now the pitch. That's a tough 95 fly ball left field. Lonnie Smith calls for it. And he's got it. And that will end it. No runs. A hit for the Pirates. It's still 5-2 to two Redbirds over the Bucks In this very early National League, Con National League East contest. Righty. Lefty. That's a pitch hit. And left. The Pirates will bring in a new pitcher. And coming on to pitch for the Pirates will be Cecilio Guante. Oh, I love that name. Cecilio Guante. He will pitch from it. He will come in now and pitch. He's a short reliever, so he can pitch innings six and seven. Ozzie Smith will lead it off for the Cardinals. He's one for two. Guante with the pitch. And that's a tough 59. And we have a ground ball to third base. 
Madlock has it, tosses it over to first for the first out. And that and Kurt Kepcher is gonna Kurt Kepcher is the next batter. His fatigue inning is the sixth, which we are in. That's gonna be it for Kepcher. They're gonna take him out. Well, actually, you're up by you know he hasn't raised fatigue inning yet. I don't know. Do we take do we keep Kepcher in there or do we take him out? Um, what do you let's see here? Let's see here. Um, top of the sixth inning, Cardinals leading five to two. Tribe fan Tim Pepper, Steeler fan Donald Cummings. Kurt Kepcher, we let him we let him uh, pitch for a little while longer, or do we take him? We go to a pinch hitter now. He's not fatigued yet, but one more run will one more run he gives up will fatigue him. The Cardinal bullpen is not too bad. So, what do you guys think? Pull or hit? Someone give me a hand here. Bat him. Sports Time Machine joins me here at Three River Stadium. He says bat him, so Kepcher will bat. Not a problem. That is a patient 26. And, oh, he just missed a hit. But that's going to be a pop out to first. That is out number two. And now here's Tommy Herr. Sports Time Machine joins me at Three River Stadium. For those of you who don't know, STM, that is Utah Mike. Please check out his channel. He is another master of disaster when it comes to these things. Doing some great 1980 Mets and Yankees replay with Stratomatic. He is awesome. So please check out Sports Time Machine. Two outs. Here's her. Guante, that's a tough 13, and swing and a miss, struck him out. And a 1-2-3 inning for Guante, and it keeps the game a 5-2. to two. Bottom of the sixth, Kurt Kepscher will stay out there. And Bill Madlock leads off for Pittsburgh. He is having a good night. He's two for two. Three River Stadium, definitely a pitcher's park. One to thirty-two lefty, one to twenty-seven righty, and wheelhouse combined. That's a two to fifty. That's a fifty-nine. That makes that a pitcher's park. A moderate pitcher's park. Kepcher's pitch in play twenty. In play twenty-nine. Single for Bill Madlock. He hits that one to right. Madlock will hold it first. Leadoff hit. Madlock has three hits tonight. He is three for three. And now a chance for Jason Thompson. And he is two for two. He has two doubles tonight. Can Thompson get a third? Three on the five on the dice. No steal attempt for Madlock. Kepsher will pitch to Thompson. Fans here at the Pirates. Seeing maybe hoping they can get some runs. Kepcher. Patient, and that's going to be a patient 12, and that's going to be a walk. Right on the line, but that's a 10. I'm going to give that a 10. Patient 12, bait, and now runners at first and second with nobody out. And now the Pirates are in business. George Hendrick will come up to bat. Runners at first and second. Kurt Kepscher in a little bit of a jam. St. Louis bullpen going. Kepsher had no complete games last year. Pitch to Hendrick. Tough. 89. And it's a ground ball to shortstop. Hendrick's double play rating is a 9. And his double play rating is a 7. That's a 6. They're going to get only the fielder's choice as Thompson's going to get thrown out at second base. Hendrick will get to first. That is one out. But a fielder's choice. Runners in the corners with one out. And now Tony Pena comes up. Pena is 0 for 2. One out. Pena's double play rating is a 9. Captures a 7. The Cardinals are going to play the infield normal. 
and try to turn two. If HB is in the Hall of Fame, the Pro Pro and Madlock Buckner belong in. Harold Baines in the Hall of Fame, then Pro Pro and Bill Madlock and Buckner belong in. Yeah, maybe, perhaps, perhaps. Buckner is very, but Buckner definitely, Buckner and Madlock definitely belong in the Hall of the Very Good. There's no doubt. I put him in the Hall of the Very Good. Hall of Fame, close. Like I said, Harold Baines is in the Hall of Fame. Why not Keith Hernandez? Now that is a Hall of Famer. And he's not in. That makes no sense. Runners at the corners, one out. Cardinals playing the infield back. Kepcher, a big chance here, a big at bat against Pena. Here it comes. That's a patient 74. And it's a ground ball to second base. Pena's double play rating is a nine. That is a seven. That is a seven. They're going to turn it. Second base to shortstop. Back to first for two. Double play. Cardinals get out of the jam. Four, six, three. No runs and a hit. Another chance goes by the board for the Bucks. It stays five to two. Stadium groans. Ugh. Top of the seventh. Cecilio Guanti will pitch to Terry Pendleton. Pendleton is 0 for 3 in this game. Guanti's pitch. Tough, 27, base hit, Terry Pendleton, he gets a single. Guante made a good pitch, but Pendleton managed to fight it off. Base hit for Pendleton, that's his first hit of the game. Willie McGee will come up now. And he is two for two, single or double or reached on an error. That's a five. Nothing happening with Pendleton. He'll stay at he will stay at first base. You have a five, you have a three run lead. McGee will bat. Guante's pitch. Patient 32. That's gonna be well hit by Willie McGee. A well hit ball into left field corner. Running around third is Pendleton. He will score. McGee trying for third. Slides in safe, not a problem. A triple for Willie McGee. Willie McGee has a single, a double, and a triple in that order. And he is on third base. And the Cardinals now lead it 6-2. to two. McGee waited for a good pitch, and he got it. Here's Jack Clark. And still nobody out here in the top of the seventh. Yep, even more of a stadium groans. Ugh. McGee on at third. Clark the batter. Pirates now down by four. McGee with a great run rating. Pirates are going to call the infield in. They don't want any more runs to score. Pitch from Guante. That's a ballpark. That's a ballpark 56. That's going to be in play. In play 26 for Clark. Base hit single. That one is well hit into center field. Clark goes to first. McGee comes home. This game is beginning to get out of hand, and the Cardinals now lead it 7-2. to two. Salvador America joins me here at Three Rivers Stadium. We're in the top of the seventh inning. It's 7-2 to two Cardinals. Jack Clark just got a base hit. Still nobody out. And that's the second run given up by Guante. He will be gone. Well, I'll check the next batters here. Left. Well, let's see here. Right. Left. Left. New pitcher coming in for the Pirates. 
And they're going to bring in a lefty. It'll be Rod Scurry. And here's Lonnie Smith. Smith is two for is two for three tonight. And yeah, this is an interesting score to walk into. As the Cardinals right now are putting a beat down on the Pirates, pretty much as they should be. And still nobody out here in the top of the seven. Clark on it first. Rod Scurry, the next pitcher against Smith. Scurry's pitch. Tough. 51. And that's a ground ball to first base. Smith's double play rating is a five. And it's double play rating six. It's a seven. Uh, they are not going to get the double play, but Clark will be thrown out at second. That's one out. Fielder's choice for Smith. And now Tito Landrum will bat. Runner on first base. Scurry pitches to Landrum. Patient, 57. Double for Tito Landrum. That is a double off a left-handed pitcher. Lonnie Smith's run rating of nine. He will score easily from second, or from first, I should say. And it's now eight to two Cardinals. I sometimes wish we'd have better games, but looks like St. Louis is definitely the better team here. Now 8-2 to two, St. Louis. And now here's Tom Nito. Nito is 0 for 3. As the floodgates are beginning to open here at Three Rivers Stadium, as the rivers are draining into the stadium. One out, Landrum on its second. The pitch from Sturry. Tough, 65, and that's a fly ball to right field. And George Hendrick is going to make that catch for out number two. Nito, the only – Nito has not joined the hit parade. He is 0 for 4. Two outs now for Ozzie Smith. Scurry will now pitch to Smith. Two outs. And ballpark, 78, that's in play. In play for Ozzie Smith, and he popped it up. Popped it up to first base. That's Thompson. Thompson's going to get there, and he puts it away for the outside retire. Three runs, four hits for the Cardinals. We are at the seventh inning stretch. And it looks like the Cardinals... Are in total command of this game. And I will be right back with the 10 minute ticker. But it's 8 to 2, St. Louis. Be right back. Pirates are beginning to look like roadkill, but anything can happen in an RJL game as we have seen. Absolutely. And Michael Peterson, who now joins me here at Three River Stadium, says another possible blowout. It's exactly what it looks like now. It's 8-2 to two Cardinals. 
Remember, the Cardinals are in a grade of an A. The Pirates are a grade of an F. So, although the Pirates did win this game, they won the game 6-4. to four. As you can see in the chat, you can tell. You can see in the chat the scores, which I'm now going to post. So, you'll always see the teams playing, what the, what the current replay record is. And then, underneath the stadium, okay, I'll give you the score of the game. And Pittsburgh beat the Cardinals 6-4 to four originally. You notice Philip Reynolds hasn't stopped by to tell me that the Cowboys are going to beat the Steelers this week. He's done that the last three weeks, the Browns, Titans. <laughs> Dave Little, my seventh inning stretch entertainment for the evening. Yes, it is time for the seventh inning stretch. We will clear the board real quick for it. And it's time for the 10-minute ticker. 10-minute ticker starts. Today is April 12, 85. Let's see how the games will go. Here we go. Toronto at Baltimore. That's a win for the Orioles. They will win that game 7-5. Uh, to five. California at Oakland. That's an 8. That's a win for the Athletics. They win that game 7 to nothing. Minnesota at Seattle. Six Minnesota wins, five to three. Milwaukee taking on Texas. That's a 12. Texas wins that game, eight to five. Remember, the dice have to reach these inside these numbers. If it's not, the, the this is the visiting team's numbers. Home team, if it's not into this number, the home team wins the game. San Diego and Atlanta. And these, of course, are the grades of the teams in quick results. San Diego, as I said, is a B. Atlanta is a D. This is the, this is the role they need in order to beat the Braves. And that is an 11, and they don't get that. The Braves beat the Padres 5-3. to three. Montreal at Chicago Cubs. That's a 5. That's a win for the Expos. They win that game 4-1. Philadelphia at Houston. This is for Steeler fan. And that is going to be a win for the Astros. They got a seven. They win that game two to one. San Francisco taking on the Dodgers. That's a six. That's a win for the Dodgers. They get their first win of the year. They are up. They win that game over the Giants. One nothing. Cincinnati Reds taking on my New York Mets. And that is a win for my Mets. They get the win, 8-5. to five. They beat the Reds, and we will see them tomorrow in our next game. Now we move ahead to, October, to April 13. So now we move ahead to the next day. Since we do, since we do two days, Reds are 0-15 so far. Since we do two days, in a, since, we, since we do two days, we do today's games and tomorrow's. However, I will not do the current team's games tomorrow until this game is finished. So we got Toronto at Baltimore, and that's a win for the Blue Jays. They win that game one to nothing. Chicago White Sox at Boston Red Sox. That's a win for the Red Sox. They win that game one to nothing. New York Yankees at Cleveland. The Yankees get their win. That's a 4-3 win for the pinstripes. Detroit at Kansas City. That's a 9. That's a win for the Royals. They win the game 3-2. Top here. California taking on Oakland. And that is a win for the Angels. They beat the A's 9-5. Minnesota at Seattle. That is a 6. It's a win for the Twins, 8-5. They, they beat the Mariners. Milwaukee at Texas. That is a 2. That is a 6. The Brewers will beat the Rangers 6-4. San Diego taking on Atlanta. That's a win for the Padres. They beat the Braves 4-3. to 
Montreal taking on the Chicago Cubs. Now that is bullshit. <laughs> Montreal taking on the Cubs. That's a six. It's a win for the Expos. They win that game five to one. Philadelphia taking on Houston. That's a seven. That's a win for the Astros. They win that game two to one. Another win for Houston. San Francisco taking on the Bums. That's an eight. That's a win for the Dodgers. They win that game five to two. Finally, Cincinnati Reds taking on the New York Mets. We have that game tomorrow. But remember, we play that is the 14th day, as the day we play on the 14th. So this is we play the Reds and the Mets tomorrow. But this is their win. And I did not uh, I thought I cleaned that up. Give me a moment while I just make it nice and neat. There we go. Cincinnati and the Mets. Dave Little's Reds against my Mets. And it's a three, and it's a win for the Reds. The Reds come away eight to nothing, which means tomorrow's game between the Mets and the Reds is a rubber matchup. And St. Louis at Pittsburgh, we save this game until after we're done with this one. And that is your 10-minute ticker for today. If your team won, congratulations. If your team didn't, there's always two days from now. <laughs> Let's see. Now that is bullshit. <laughs> Salvador America doesn't like that. Kirk Kepscher gets back on the mound for the Cardinals. It is an 8-2 to two win lead here for the Cardinals against the Pirates. And leading off for Pittsburgh is going to be Doug Froble. And with a six-run lead, I think the Pirates are going to pretty much resign themselves to trying to get this game done. Kepsher will pitch to Froebel starting the bottom of the seventh. And that is a tough 77 and a fly ball center field. And trotting underneath it will be Willie McGee. One out. What will it be? Willie McGee. One man down here is Tim Foley. Got the two days from down, down, right? Yeah, I know, right? Foley's pitch from Kepcher, and that is a tough 87 ground ball to short. The Wizard of Oz has it, throws to first, out number two. And we'll see a, pit, a new batter for Rod Scurry as he is done. So the Pirates will bring up a new batter. Let's see who they want to bring in against a righty. And they will... And coming up to bat will be Jim Morrison. He will bat against Kepcher in the bottom of the seventh. That sounded like Al Red Sox fan. What will it be, Willie McGee? Larry Harris, yes. Morrison will bat against Kepcher. Two outs, bottom of the seventh. Cardinals owning this game. Tough, 29. And that is a cold strike three on Morrison. He will go back to the bench. And the side is retired. A 1-2-3 inning for Kepscher. And the Cardinals still lead it 8-2. As it looks like this game is going to be a blowout. Sorry to say we're going to have a lot of those games sometimes. Uh, who leads off? Leading off is supposed to be Kurt Kepscher, but that is going to be it for him. You're in the eighth inning. He doesn't have any complete games, so I'm going to take him out. He has done his job. We'll see who the Pirates want to bring in to pitch. Let's see what we want here. And that is going to be... That is going to be John Candelaria. He'll come in and pitch, get some innings in. He's got nine saves, not a save situation. And now we'll see who will bat for the Cardinals in this case. And with 54 at-bats against lefties, it's going to be Andy Van Slyke. He's going to get a chance. 
Andy Van Slyke will bat against John Candelaria here in the top of the eighth inning. Eight to two Cardinals. As Salvador America is the candy man. Candelaria will pitch. And that is a tough 35. And swing and a miss struck him out. Down goes Van Slyke. And now Tommy Herr. Candelaria. Defense check 18. That might not be too good. Error check to the pitcher. Candelaria's error rating is a one, and he's going to boot that ball. And that's going to be a single and a one base error. So it's an infield single. Candelaria looked around, tried to pick it up, threw the ball into the dugout. Her is going to be on second base. So that is a base hit for her and an E1, and that is the second error on the Pirates. Ballpark at 10. Ouch. Yeah. Two of them. Remember, this Pirates team was awful. Her at second base, and we're going to see a lot of them, unfortunately. Here's Terry Pendleton. Still, there's one out. There's one out. Pendleton, the batter, he is one for four. And tough, 57. And ground ball to third base. Easily picked up by Maglock. He'll throw to first for out number two. Her with a run rating of seven has to stay at second. Two down. And now Willie McGee. McGee is three. Willie McGee, what will it be? He is three for three. He has a single, a double, and a triple in that order. Willie McGee can hit a home run. Willie McGee needs a homer for the cycle. Candelaria looking into McGee. Here's the pitch. And that is a tough 61. And it will be a line drive hit right to second base, but he snares it. Side retired. Couldn't do it. So it's a line out to second. So one run, I'm sorry, no runs, one hit, and an error. We go to the bottom of the eighth, still eight to two Redbirds. Top of the batting order coming up for Pittsburgh in the bottom of the eighth. Right, left, right. And the Cardinals will go to the bullpen. And coming on to pitch will be Bill Campbell. Campbell will come on and pitch. He had 50 appearances. He can show up here. With a six-run lead, I don't think the Cardinals have much to worry about. Marvell Wynn leads off for the Bucks here in the bottom of the eighth. Al Red Sox fan joins me now here at Three River Stadium. He forgot how to field. As I was, and they always said, I said, Willie McGee, what will it be? He's three for three. Trying to mimic Al Red Sox fan, King of the Hill. One of the best channels you'll find anywhere. Marvell win against Campbell. Let's see what Campbell's got. That is a wheelhouse 03 crack. And that ball is hit high. That ball is hit deep. And that ball is hit gone. Home run. Marvell win. Bill Campbell's first pitch is a wheelhouse 03. And that and Marvell win barely has power, but just enough. It's out of here. But probably too little, too late. It's now eight to three. Solo shot for win. And now here's Johnny Ray. Bill Campbell will pitch to Ray. 
Patient, 76. Ground ball to second base. Tommy Hurst got it. Throws to first. Out number one. Next batter is V. Bill Madlock. Definitely in the hall of the very good. Madlock having a great night. He's three for three tonight. If Pittsburgh has anything to show for it, it's a three for three night. Campbell's pitch. Tough. 48. And ground ball right back to Campbell. He has it. Pumps once. Tosses it over to first. Underhand toss. Two outs. And now here's Jason Thompson. Thompson is two for two. He has two doubles. Campbell's pitch. In play, 59. Ground ball to third base. Easy pickup by Terry Pendleton. Throws to first. Side retired. The Pirates do get one run on a hit. A home run by Marvell Wynn. At the end of eight, the Cardinals are leading eight to three. Will we see some ninth inning magic? We go to the top of the ninth. <laughs> it looks like Pirates pitching good in the water if they fell out of a boat. <laughs> Candelaria will pitch. And leading off for St. Louis will be Jack Clark. Like to remind you, remember, tomorrow I have a I, tomorrow I have a loaded potato tomorrow. We have inside pitch. It will be the San Diego Padres. The 1977 one and gone continues tomorrow. The San Diego Padres take on the Los Angeles Dodgers. We have History Maker Golf qualifying for the Junkin New Invitational at Bahamar Country Cl Golf Club from the Bahamas. And then, of course, tomorrow night we're back here for more Payoff Pitch 85 action. The Cincinnati Reds take on the New York Mets. And for you Reds fans and for you Mets fans, you better be here tomorrow night because the doctor is in. I got and I got lucky that that was after the game that got chosen. I do I choose the games on a schedule. Who pitch who pitches? I have no control over. Candelario will pitch to Clark, top of the ninth inning. So yes, tomorrow the doctor is in, and he will be firing some K's. Candelaria's pitch to Clark. That's a patient 62. And walked him. Clark goes to first on a walk. Batter now is Lonnie Smith. Better get him sobered up before tomorrow. This is 1985 Dwight Gooden. Not the later Dwight Gooden. This is the guy that had a one point. This is the guy that had a one point seven nine at a one point five three ERA. This is the guy that struck out batters in his sleep. Pitch from Candelaria to Smith, tough fifty two. Ground ball to third to first base. Smith's double play rating is a five. Candelaria is a six. That's a nine. Clark is going to get thrown out at second. Smith will be safe at first. Fielder's choice. One out. And here is Tito Landrum. Candelaria. Patient 31. And that's a that's a walk. He walks Landrum. Runners at first and second with one out. Landrum had a Landrum was having a good night tonight. He was three for four before that walk, and he still is three for four. Here's Thomas Nito. Nito was 0 for 4 tonight for the Cardinals. But still runners at first and second. Candelarian, a little bit of a jam here. Candelaria was 2 and 4 with a 3.64 ERA in 85. Remember, this Pirates team was awful. Candelaria's pitch. 
patient 35, and that's going to be a double for Tom Nito. He finally gets a hit. Double for Nito. That's a grounder down the line in right field. All runners score. Smith comes in to score. Landrum scores. Nito to second. 10-3 to three Cardinals. They are putting up a whooping on this Pirates ball club. Nito on at second, finally gets himself a hit, and he gets some claps from the Cardinal dugout. And here is Ozzy Smith. The bad boy scores. The ticket guy scores. One out. Nito on at second. Actually, that's going to be it for Candelaria. He is done. Candelaria coming out. The Pirates will bring in a new pitcher. And it is going to be Don Robinson. He will come out and pitch against Ozzie Smith. One out, top of the ninth inning, 10-3 birds. Robinson pitches to Smith. Patient, 88. Uh, ground ball to shortstop. That's going to be a play easily made by Foley. Throws to first. Out number two. Nito with a run rating of four definitely has to hold. Bill Campbell due to bat. They're going to take him out. They'll bring in a pinch hitter for against Robinson. So let's see who they bring in here. As I check the stats. And it's going to be Brian Harper. Brian Harper will pitch again, will bat against Don Robinson. Two outs. Here's the pitch. And ballpark 94. That's in play. In play 01. And that's going to be a base hit for Brian Harper. He gets a pinch hit single. Base hit for Harper. Nito with a run rating of four. I have to draw. That's a sharp liner in the center field. Runner on second advances one base plus. His run rating is a four. That's an eight on the die. He will hold it third. A nice hit for Harper gets a base hit. Runners at first and third. Top of the batting order for the for the birds. Here's Tommy Herr. Herr is two for five. Ten to three Cardinals. Pitch. Patient. O2. Oh, That's a base on balls. And we are juiced. Bases loaded for Terry Pendleton. Pendleton is one for five. As the Cardinals already leading 10 to three in this game. In a game they actually lost six to four. Robinson will pitch. Two outs. Nito, as I recall, was a fat dude. Come on, man. Man, you guys in the chat are brutal. Bases loaded, two outs. Don Robinson will pitch to Pendleton, top of the ninth. Here it comes. That's a tough 95. He'll get out of it. Fly ball to left field. And Froebel is going to be get to make the play. And the inning is over. But two runs come in for the for the Cardinals on two hits and a couple of walks. 
Bottom of the ninth inning coming up. It's 10 to 3 Redbirds. It's 10 birds over the Bucks. Time out. Bottom of the ninth inning, and we will see a new pitcher for the Cardinals. George Hendrick leads off. Let's see who the Redbirds want to bring in. And coming on to pitch for the Cardinals will be Andy Hassler. And the reason why I'm using him is because he was only with the Cardinals for a month, but he did have 10 game appearances. So I thought I might as well bring him in and make this one of those games. Andy Hassler will pitch to George Hendrick, bottom of the ninth. 10-3, Birds over Bucks. Hassler with the pitch. And that's a tough 0-2. Oh, Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Down goes Hendrick. One away. In pretty much a no contest here at Three River Stadium. Tony Pena will come up to bat. Hassler with the pitch. Tough. 79. Fly ball center field. Under it is going to be McGee. He makes the catch out number two. And the fans, of course, have already filed out of here. Three River Stadium has maybe about, I don't know, maybe 5,000 fans left. Yes, he pitched for a lot of teams. That's right. Last chance for Pittsburgh will be Doug Froble. With a seven-run deficit, they're not going to go to the bench or anything like that. This game is pretty much in the books. And here's the pitch. And we got an in-play 11, and it's a base hit. Doug Froebel gets a single off a of Hassler. Game's not over yet. That's Froebel's first hit of the game. The batter now is Tim Foley. He has absolutely no average against lefties. I think we'll see a pinch hitter for Foley, and we will. So he's coming out. And coming into pit to bat will be Bill Allman. Bill Allman will bat against Hassler now, runner at first base with two outs. As Steeler fan is still enjoying the Iron City beer. As Salvador America says, I'm see some cardboard cutouts out there. Looks like Mel Gibson. <laughs> yep, that old Pirates logo. The funny thing is, that is the, that Pirates logo was the longest logo was the longest tenured logo in for the Pirates. That's the longest tenured logo they've ever had. That logo lasted 30 years. From 1966, I think, to 1986. No, to, to like 1990 something. That's one of the longest logos they ever used. Andy Hassler will pitch to Bill Allman. Two outs, bottom of the ninth inning. Let's see if anything happens. Patient, 0-2. Yeah, it's a walk. Andy Hassler walks Allman. And now runners at first and second. Allman will take over at shortstop, just in case. And now we'll see a pinch hitter for Robinson. As Robinson's coming out. And the batter for Pittsburgh will be Sixto Lescano. Sixto Lescano will bat for Pittsburgh. He was just acquired on April 11. So he is here, available, is on the roster. Two outs, runners at first and second. Fake it. Go to his outrange on his card. Hassler will pitch to Lescano. In play, 40. Uh... Nope, that'll do it. That's a line drive. Hit right to second base. Snares it. Game over. Line out to second. So no runs. A hit for Pittsburgh. But that will do it as the Cardinals put the beat down on Pittsburgh. 10-3 to tonight.
There were originally 10 runs scored in the actual game. We have 13 runs here. And I'll give you guys a final line score. Bear with me for a second. Six, four, six, nine, 13, 14, 16, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, so a couple of blowouts today, Michael Peterson, yes, because of my inside pitch game earlier, and of course tonight. So the Cardinals knock out the Pirates 10-3, to the better team does win here, and now let's go ahead and see how these teams did tomorrow. So one moment as I clear the board. St. Louis was playing Pittsburgh tomorrow, so we know St. Louis wins today, and tomorrow, that's a seven, and that is a win for the Cardinals as well, and they're going to win that game six to five. So St. Louis beats Pittsburgh tomorrow as well, and that'll do it for today's, for tonight's action. Sauce me up, I think, a cardboard cutout's looking at me. Hey, baby. Uh, Salvador America, had, did your mom t t ever talk to you about talking to inanimate objects? If not, man, I know the name of a good therapist you could use. Didn't help me much, though. Anyway, thank you for joining me, everybody. Tomorrow night, tomorrow, as I said, a full day. We got inside pitch baseball, 1977, one and gone. San Diego against the Dodgers. We have history maker golf qualifying for the Junk and New Invitational for the Champions Division. And we got payoff pitch baseball, Cincinnati Reds taking on the New York Mets. And I know we're going to have a lot of fun playing that one, aren't we? Dave Little, Salvador America, Michael Peterson, Steeler fan, 1933, Larry Harris, Sports Time Machine, Donald Cummings, Tribe Fan 879, Philip Reynolds, um, make sure I get everybody here. I hope I did. Got so many people now joining my channel. Thank you very much for joining me. Please leave a like on your way out through the turnstile and subscribe if you've not have to. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night and we'll see you later. Cardinals over the Pirates 10 to 3. Good night, everyone. Stay safe, healthy, smart, and strong.